Do a lot, a lot. All right, what's up, everyone? I'm back with another video. Now this time, I do have something which people have said was impossible. I didn't even think it was possible. Okay, so <coughs> what we have here is actually a sort of remover for the limitations placed on how much RAM can be used by either games or programs okay so you can use this for both and I have personally been using it and I have noticed improved results in my games and in my programs I mean even for just Google Chrome and Firefox and stuff like that I've uh, used it and have noticed an improvement so it's been really nice, it's been fun to play my games with a little more performance, you know. So, let me go ahead and get started. Okay, today I'm going to show you how to use the RAM limit remover, okay. So, after you download it, okay, you do just unpack it, okay and you can use a software called 7z you can just google it download 7z I will go ahead and put links below and you can actually just unpack it by right clicking after you install it going to 7zip and actually telling the program to extract it and I usually always tell it to extract it into a folder with the same name just in case they haven't packaged it within a folder with the actual compression so let's go ahead and do that now let's uh, rename automatically here I don't know why I was asking me that but okay I already have it unpackaged correct so let's go ahead and get started okay now here you will actually see the copy I made and <coughs> the original <coughs> now this is what is packaged in that folder okay and it's very simple to use there are more advanced features however you can look into those on your own right now I'm just going to show you the basics and it's, it's simple it does what it needs to and I've been using it that way and it's been great it's been doing everything I needed to so Let's go ahead and double click on that, open it up. Okay, now all you have to do is select the EXC or whatever program or video game you want to make large address aware. Right? Okay, now in this case, I am going to go into my Steam's folder first. Now this is something I've already done, but it's not a problem. Okay, so I know a lot of you may have problems running Grand Theft Auto. Well, so let's go ahead and do that. Now, just make sure this box is checked, really. So check this box to enable the application to use more than 2 gigabytes of memory. Uncheck the box to limit the application to 2 gigabytes of memory. Now, Grand Theft Auto 5 is a 64 um, bit game. So it's already programmed to use more than 2 gigs, and more than 4 gigs. Um, so, you know, it might not help it that much, but just depending on the actual game even if they are 64 bit like let's say they've been ported right from the consoles a lot of those video games actually have around a 2 gigabyte limit on them because they are ports and because they were scaled from a console version of the game you see what I'm saying so even if you have a 64 bit version of the game using this can help okay it can remove the limit from the engine 
itself. So, you know, it, it can really do a lot, to be honest. It, it can really do a lot for your, your games and your program. So, all you got to do is just press save, making sure that this box has been checked. Okay? Boom. And you're done. Okay? You exit out, and you'll see a settings.sav file. Okay? Now that is the settings for your programs. Okay? You don't want to delete that. You can actually place this folder wherever you like okay you can delete the zip and the or I'm sorry the 7z file okay you can delete that and this you can place in your program files wherever and then create a shortcut on your desktop I actually just have it here pinned to my start menu so that's it really I mean we can go ahead and do another one you are going to want to make sure that it has administrator privileges, of course. Now, a lot of you may not know what that is, and if you just want to be sure, you can always right-click, run as administrator, or for some of the older Windows programs, you go into Properties with the right-click, into Compatibility, and run this program as administrator. You just highlight that, you apply it, press OK, and it will actually run it as administrator every time you may or may not get a pop-up indicating whether you do or do not want to do this so okay we did Grand Theft Auto right let's go ahead and actually get into Skyrim because in the Skyrim modding community this is a big problem to a lot of people the RAM limit so I did actually you know through my discussions hear this a lot that hey there's a RAM limit it sucks yeah a lot of people will try to fix it I've never seen an actual fix and everybody said it was impossible okay well this program will actually take care of this okay it will remove the limitations placed within the Skyrim engine okay so now you can use all of your RAM okay So there you go, just select an executable. You can go ahead and type in the actual address, right? If you know it. I guess not. Okay, so you can't type in the address, but you just have to browse for it. Like I said, we were doing Skyrim. So you're actually going to want to make sure on these video games that you actually click the one with the name of the game usually it's abbreviated not all the time but sometimes it is and not the launcher okay because you want to actually remove the RAM limit from the game itself and not just the little pop-up window that appears at first right you want to make sure you have the game sometimes it can be hard because they are all exe files and some games do have multiple exe files and in this case there's only two really the creation kit counts as one but you might not mistake that See, all of these, let's say, application will be exe files. So, you are going to want to remove it by selecting it here, checking the box, and just saving. And that removes the RAM limit. Just make sure that you do select the exe file. So, there you go. It's all been saved. And we will go ahead and play some video games now since I already have this installed I'm just gonna delete everything just like that so you'll notice an improvement in your video games and programs as well I actually went ahead and selected the XE for Chrome, Firefox, Internet Explorer since I do use those a lot and it's been working really well so like since I use all three of them at once I uh, sometimes run into problems because when a program hits its RAM limit you know you can see some freezing even if it needs more RAM the computer cannot assign it any more RAM because the program has been hard coded with that right so this will remove that and now you won't see that 
that lag and freeze, you know, switching between windows or even just doing anything besides that, you know. It'll it it'll make the program run faster and your whole computer will, will feel the effect of that program running faster. So I've really been enjoying this program. I've gone ahead and uploaded this and shared it with you. So you can also feel these performance increases and uh, just have a better time on your computer. So anyways, thanks for watching the video. Like and subscribe. I'm looking for donors, please. If you can go to my Patreon page and, you know, donate whatever you can. It all helps. Seriously. So I'll go ahead and link that below. And thanks for watching.